Usually in the books, Reacher would say nothing. However, in this season, Reacher usually says the same corny catchphrase over and over again. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for Reacher Season 2. I was a very big fan of the first one. Funny enough, I had read the book, The Killing Floor, years prior, and I hadn't enjoyed it that much, and I found that this pointed out what was good about the book. The middle of the book being kind of boring, and the show was able to craft an interesting narrative with weaving through the past, as well as the presence, and that mystery aspect to it with this Herculean-like figure of Reacher basically going to town and handling the situation with such bravado and hunting brutality that it made the, vi the first season very, very enjoyable, as well as the side characters. I really enjoyed the two characters that he was with along for the entire uh, show. I liked their banter back and forth. I liked their personalities. And they tried to do that a little bit differently in season two. And for the most part, it worked for the first three episodes. I really liked the idea of this mystery behind his old investigator group being killed off, all the while he's teaming up with the remaining members, and we're starting to see what Reacher used to be like back in the military, and why they followed him, and why they listened to him. After the third episode, it started to kind of slip off. We got introduced to the new kind of cop assistant character, and I could just basically put him as bald cop guy. I don't know if the directors never really gave him much, or he just can't do much than one emotion, but he was very being the same thing throughout the entire show, and that kind of replicated that of the rest of the season. There was very distinct things that were happening in the first three episodes, and then the latter five just dragged. The story came to a near halt. The action kind of fell through the floor in terms of the choreography. Dialogue kind of got a little dumb, and the show just got dumber and dumber with elements as it went on. More predictable, more kind of just disappointing. And what's weird too is that the first season established that they were pretty well versed in terms of what Lee Child's books were. But in the latter season, it got just lazy almost. For instance, there's a moment at the end of the show, the last episode, where Neely shoots two people from afar with a rifle and it makes a silenced noise, yet she clearly does not have a silencer on that AR. At one point, there is the clear threat that is in front of her, the thing that she was drawn to, and then she's like, you know what, nah, hang on, let, let me take a minute, I'm just gonna go this way for some reason, just so that that element can become a plot device conveniently in the next few minutes. And that's kind of the bullshit that happened in this season. Really came to just get bored watching this. We had none of that really well thought out fight choreography in the first season. In the books, Child is very adamant about the fact that Reacher is trying to take people down in as few moves as possible. In the show, it's push guy against wall, bonk, 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 something like that. There's even one point in the third episode, this is probably when like things I knew were starting to go awry, is when Reacher walks into a kitchen, he clearly looks, full 360 degrees, goes, oh, there's a guy behind the cupboard, shoots, and then some motherfucking phantom man appears out of nowhere and tries to attack Reacher. That was when I was like, hey, something fishy's going on. That feeling and smell kind of just grew as the rest of the season went on. Became very unenthused with the elements and the tragic moments that were happening throughout. Robert Patrick was generic villain bad guy. I truly felt like I was starting to go into those DVD action movie kind of bargain bin bullshit. I am kind of sad to say that because I really liked the first season. I was really looking forward to Reacher. I was watching each episode as it was coming out, but even for the finale, I was like, Meh, I don't know, I'd rather watch Doctor Who. We would rather watch reruns than watch how this one ended throughout the entire finale. I was groaning. This is happening clearly so this can be a tr like dramatic moment. I, I understand that the, the, the climactic fight was supposed to be intense. It just came off as like, oh, okay, wait, hang on. Let, let's give us a, let him give him a minute so, you know, we can progress this fight scene to a point where it's now in the character's favor. From every fight scene, gun shootout, 
interaction, dialogue, story progression, just kind of lazy. I really felt weird watching it because the quality was just such a drop from the first season. Now, admittedly, this was one of the books that I haven't read. After the first season, I went on a trail. There were a few books that I really thought they were gonna do, like either the one where he's protecting the vice president or the one where he gets kidnapped by the uh, doomsday racist cult. I definitely understood the reason why they were drawn to this story because in concept, it sounds cool. It, it does sound like a cool idea. However, it just was not executed well. The first three episodes were okay, and then it just dragged. It felt like watching the Kenobi show. One episode of content is stretched out over four. I definitely felt that with Reacher season two. I am very disheartened to say. So in the end, I'm gonna give Reacher season two a two out of seven. I was really disappointed with this. I'm still very excited for the next one. Don't get me wrong. I have hope that they're going to take the lessons that they've heard like because there's been some blowback and i'm not talking about whatever kind of publication blah 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 i'm just talking about general criticism because this show definitely deserves some general criticism for this season i'm hoping that they take that to heart and that the third season is a push back up to the first season but those are my thoughts i'm very excited to see what you guys have to say let me know and if you guys like this video please leave a like and if you're interested in more please subscribe until then guys i'll just say nothing